This is Rayleigh Beach, also known as the best beach place in Thailand if you like a relaxed, white sandy beach, lots of great rock climbing spots and a wild and kind of dangerous lagoon that is almost impossible to get to. But my favorite thing about this place is that it's rich with bioluminescence plankton, which is very difficult to find elsewhere, and a pretty stunning light show and unforgettable swim at night. Whoa, do that again. That's so cool. So in this video, I want to show you how to get to Rayleigh Beach, where to stay, what's good to do during the day, and of course, at night. So you can go there and experience for yourself. So let's go straight into it. Rayleigh Beach is a small peninsula between the city of Krabi and Ao Nang in the south of Thailand. So here are the three steps of how to get there. Step number one, fly to Krabi Airport. There are lots of cheap flights from Bangkok to Krabi every single day and the flight only takes one hour and 30 minutes. Just arrived in Krabi. Once you get to Krabi Airport, you need to drive to the coast, which takes about 30 minutes. And as usual with Thailand, there are always some cheap options to take you pretty much anywhere you want. Okay. So straight off arrivals, there is a shuttle bus for 150 baht that take you all the way there. Let's go. But here comes the most exciting part of the trip. Rayleigh Beach is only accessible by boat. That's because of the high limestone cliffs surrounding it and cutting off the mainland access. So here comes step number three, which is to get the boat. Uh, ticket. One last tip before you arrive in Rayleigh Beach is to travel light. There are no cars over there, so you're gonna be carrying your stuff pretty much everywhere you go. Let's go. This trip is only gonna take 15 minutes. I wish it could take longer, this is so beautiful. Right during sunset. So pretty, such a cool arrival. Just match. Whoa. So, where to stay in Rayleigh Beach? Luckily, there are lots of budget options to stay there, from five pounds hostel all the way to over thousand pounds a night, like the famous Rayavadi Resort. But for 33 pounds a night, with breakfast included, we stayed at the Futawan Hotel. About 5 to 10 minutes walk away from the beach, the hotel is really high up, giving a really nice sea view, plus it's surrounded by the super green jungle and high limestone cliffs. The rooms, however, were very simple. Spacious, but kind of dark and outdated inside. The aircon was working fine, but very, very loud. I think for 33 pounds a night, this place was pretty excellent, and I'll definitely go back there anytime. I'm pretty sure, 100%, that the reason why we booked this place was of course the price was quite cheap, but it was because of this stone, it's just so pretty. And it's right next to the pool. So, breakfast is just over here, and you have breakfast looking at this like, giant, beautiful limestone. And look, it's the also same stone that people climb. Cool, so apparently to get to the lagoon, we have to go up there and then go down into the lagoon. Um, just like it shows on this picture here. But because it was raining earlier, uh, they put this sign here to say, do not climb. But it's not raining now. And now it is already one quarter of the way up. So I think we should go. We're going. Not easy, huh? Very, very steep. After about 20 minutes climbing, there is a viewpoint, which is super beautiful and great for pictures, but that is only halfway into this mysterious and challenging lagoon. That is the lagoon. So we got a critical point here at the, um, the lagoon cave situation. Maris is up here. He doesn't want to go down because it's super slippery. It was raining a little bit uh, earlier today, so the stone is like, like a soap. I'm not going because I'm not going to leave Maurice alone, but whoop. it's a bad excuse. I can't even stand here. Okay, if you want to go, just be careful. Try to avoid rainy days. That's about it. And if that lagoon looks like a terrible idea to you, then your best thing to do during the day is to go to Raleigh West Beach. You come out of the trail right here. This is the beginning of the beach. 
little cave. Look at this. Really not that busy. Gonna stay here for a little bit. Here you're gonna find a nice and easy beach with clean, flat and warm water. Just look out for jellyfish and crabs because they do like to say hi to tourists. We just had a little splash. Delicious water. And just gonna say hello to this little guy here. Look at that. So pretty. Goodbye. Last but not least, the night scene in Rayleigh Beach feels very tight, with lots of bars and restaurants, people everywhere, but we were more interested to go back in the sea and search for something else. And here we are at Raleigh Beach. This is the west part of it. Sunset is happening over there, or it's gonna happen in a few minutes. And we're gonna go in one of those transparent kayaky things to see if we uh, can see some bioluminescence. Say cheese. Let's go. Okay, one minute into into this uh, transparent kayaky. Maris is already complaining that I'm not paddling. No, 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 you can. We spend the next hour or so of daylight trying to work out what animals we could see off the rocks. So that is a dog, and that is a chicken. And then before we noticed, it was nighttime. It's getting dark. Yeah, From yeah. there, we went to this cave, which looks really cool with the lights, but I think it's trying to shoot. Did you see a bat? Oh, I'm not okay now. Let's go. It's full of bats. A bit like with the Aurora Borealis, the darker it gets, the better it is to see the lights. I guess the main difference is that with bioluminescence, all you have to do is go to a place with a high concentration of these glowy planktons, and then you touch the water, and then you see it. Oh my god, yeah. Whoa. Whoa, do that again. That's so cool. Yeah. Ten minutes to eight p.m. We are heading back, and that's it. It was really cool. Right, Bella. The boat trip from Raleigh Pier to the other side of the pier, which is more like Crabby, to get to the airport, takes fifteen minutes, unless the engine breaks and then you have to wait a little bit more. It's 7.30 right now, our flight leaves at 9, so we want to be at the airport at 8. The car over there takes about 20 minutes from the pier to the airport, so ideally we would like to be at the pier in 10 minutes. I don't think that's gonna happen. 